There's all kinds of stars out there, my friends. Movie stars, shooting stars, chicken and stars. The soup. You know the soup I'm talking about, Sharon? Chicken and stars, right? A lot of different kinds of stars. There's also superstars. There's also something we call call stars. And that's something we do with the mortgage marketing animals. But yet, there's even another version. And we're going to talk about that right here, right now, on the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast, brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. I'm your host, Frank Array. We're going to talk about call stars that you can run on your own for your realtor partners. What a, what a novel idea. What an interesting thought. You know, uh, I'm just going to tee everybody up here, Sharon. Thanks for joining me, by the way, everyone. Sharon Wooford here. Hi. And uh, Hello. we, we you know, at, at Mortgage Marketing Animals, we have something called Call Stars. It's a, it's, a, it's a group Zoom call. A bunch of loan officers jump on there. We all make our calls together Monday through Thursday at set times. And, you know, we're dialing for dollars. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And it's really effective. It's very, very effective. Isn't it, Sharon? Effective. It's quite effective. Quite effective. Quite effective. Right. And so you decided to take this idea and roll it out. Talk to us about it. What, what have you done? I don't want to spoil well, it all. Just what's going on? Well, honestly, um, I heard about the idea on Loon Officer Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. and I did get the idea from somebody else. And mm-hmm. um, I can't tell you how many things I played rise from Loon Officer Breakfast Club and MMA. It's all fair. Um, we encourage it. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I believe it was it was Kevin Blair that talked about um, mm. about that he was doing call stars and he was working it out to where he was he had sent out an invitation to, you know, say, I don't know the number, but say 20 different agents. And then he was getting three to five that wanted to use that that came and started doing the call stars with him. Mm. And I thought, well, that's a fantastic idea because I just got um, just got two M- MSAs going with two different real estate offices mm. and um you know, and after after spending some time with Carl at one of the garage fests, you know, what I what I did was I zeroed down into what do I need to do to hit my goals? Yeah. And what I figured with was with these two offices is that I needed I needed six people from this office to be sending me five closed deals per year. And then I needed 10 from this office to send me five closed deals per year. How and come then, six and ten? Were they just bigger, bigger office and a smaller one is a office? 40, 46 agent office, and the other mm. one's one hundred forty nine. Okay, agent office. all right. Okay, and so you know, I wanted to think about what was realistic. So then I was trying to think about, okay, I got to zero in to these five or six people, and how am I going to do that? So I use I thought about the idea that that Kevin had, and actually reached out to him and asked him, you know, what do you, how, how did you how did you do this? How did you how did you approach them? And so um, I've already been doing some business with some of these agents. So I went to the one that I had the most comfort level speaking with yeah. and, and said, hey, would you be interested in joining me for so what we call a call stars period where we would set time aside each Monday that would be our time to make that we would all get together on a Zoom meeting and that we would make calls, outbound calls so that you can get more referrals, I can get more referrals, and then we're kind of holding each other accountable. And she said, "Yes, I'm in. I want to do this with you." Tell me, tell me and before so, you move on. Before you move on, tell me about this agent. So, is this a seasoned agent? Is this a newbie? Is this a qualified this a, agent? This is a, this is a qualified agent. I'm. Okay. I mean, I have to target the qualified if I want five of them to send me five yes. close deals. Yeah. So, and I would say there's probably 10, 10 or twelve highly qualified agents in this office. Okay. Okay. They're also helping me to increase my loan amount, which is one of my annual goals this year. And so, I'll just inter- um, I'll just interrupt you one more time for those listening. They might not understand what we mean by qualified agent. Qualified agent to us is someone does at least eight buy side transactions in a year, at least eight, right? Yeah. Right. So anyway, right. keep going. Yep. Right. So with those eight, you know, I have a better opportunity to to capture that business. Sure. So um, so I reached out to her because I've already closed two deals with her so far this year in twenty twenty four. So I talked to her and um, she's she's all in. And so on February 13th, we actually had a Galentine's event at our office. So we had invited about 50 different ladies to come to our office for our Galentine's event. Galentine's. So it's, it's, for, gal. it's for gals. Just for the gals. Okay. Just for the gals. All right. So um, I guess we had about 40 different people come and she brought 
Well, we, we invited, but she brought five other people from her office. Okay. And I would say that probably two of those five were also qualified. Okay. And so we were having our Galentine's thing and people were supposed to just drop in and then kind of go. But yeah. everybody that came stayed for the whole thing. So it was pretty amazing. <laughs> so um, she came up to me and and they were all kind of hovering in my office. And she came up to me and she said, hey, we want to talk to you in your office. And so I went into the office and, and they all at once said, hey, we all want to be on your call stars event. Hmm. And I said, really? They said, yeah, she's been telling us about this and we want to be part of that. So I hadn't even invited anybody except just ran it by her. Yeah. Because I... You know, I was a little apprehensive before I, you know, sent out an invitation. So, um, so I had five or six of them, and so I sent out an invitation. We've done, we've had three calls so far. Three sessions. And, uh, three sessions. So okay. three Mondays, and um, each time so far, there's been three agents. Okay. And is it the, the same, same three? three. It's, is, it's the same three. So same three so, are showing up. So you got your committed people. They're in. Right. They're showing up. Okay. Right. And so, you know, and it's, you know, they're not used to doing this either. And they're not, you know, who do we call? What do we call? So what we're doing is we're talking about um, kind of their database, but also specifically who, who do you know and who have you talked to that's in your database that should have bought a house but hasn't mm. in the last 18 months? There you go. I said, there's your target right there. And I'm and I'm sharing some things about sales meetings and, you know, um, ideas about making calls and some scripting things that we're learning on um, on our call stars. Right. So I'm sharing those things with them. And um, so now we've had three. And just to use that one person, for instance, you know, at first they didn't really know what to say because they're not used to making these cold calls like right. we're talking about. We're saying right. call these people. These are your targets. Yeah. And um, so the first for that for that for that lady, I would say that the first week she made it may have only made five calls. OK. And now she's up. to How, how long calls. is the session? The session is one hour. One hour. All right. So what we have is we have an hour and a half of slot. We talk for 15 minutes and then we come back on at the end of 15, you know, the, and, the last yeah, 15 and, minutes. And so we're talking for 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking for 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is that. So now she's up to 12 calls for her. One of them's up to 50, but she's also no younger kidding. in the CRM and she's dialing like that. Yeah. But she's not talking to as many people. So when they, when they finish and we're doing our debrief, you know, we're hearing, you know, what are your challenges? You know, what, what kind of things have you come up against? What do you, what do you need help with scripting? And, and you know, the younger one that made the 50 calls, she said, I don't know what to do with a voicemail. I'm not even leaving voicemails. Oh, hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's new. Yeah, it's new. So, so then we talked about what kind of voicemails to leave and then it was okay to leave a voicemail. And so that was, you know, it made me feel good because now I've helped her. Yeah. You know, with her voicemails. Yeah. And, um, and by the way, she's already sent me a referral that she got from her calls. No way. So, yep. so, you, so we've had three sessions. You've gotten a referral. No, I've gotten three referrals. So you've far. gotten three sessions, three referrals. I know. So, Dang. and then, you know, then the others are, you know, they're like, I don't know what to say. You know, I don't, you know, the, and we're, I mean, helping them with some of our scripting too. Yeah. You know, maybe yeah. this was a sticky script or, you know, Hey, I just I came across your name on my phone or I came across your name yeah. on my desk and thought I would give you a call. Yeah. But so today um, we do a sales meeting in that office once a month. Yeah. And they ask us to stand up and speak and, you know, maybe share some information. We are being true partners to them. And we're, our whole purpose of being in that office, obviously, is to get business. But for them, we're here to help you become better at what you do and also be a resource for you and then handle any any financing your, your clients need. Yeah. So, and I and I explained to the whole group because I'm only talking to these five people. Um, actually, the sales manager and the, the managing broker have both reached out to me to say, we love what you're doing to our office. Nice. We love what you're doing. So at this meeting, I just, I, I said, Hey, we're going to talk about a daily success plan for realtors. When, this was, talking, when was this meeting? This is this morning. This was this morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was call number three. And then this was this morning. Okay. So I told everybody about what we were doing. And one person in the back said, I want to be on your call. Please send me an email. I definitely want to be there. And she's a newer agent. 
So fine. But she also works on a team who two of those people on that team are their top two agents and I'm already getting all their business. And, and, and they're, so she's going to have access to who should have bought in the last 18 months. She's going to have right. access to a list of people. That to, team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, and then as I was walking back to where I was sitting, another guy kind of put out his arm and said, Hey, I want to, I want you to send me an email. I want to be on your call too. He's another top agent. A and top he's somebody agent. I, have, I haven't been doing business with. So now this I've got is, it. This is so interesting because, okay, you got the one guy who's a, who's a noob, right? A newbie. That's cool. But the other agents that you're working with are of some, are, are of some stature. They, right. yeah, they're, they're good agents. So, right. and so now y'all are getting on the phone and calling everybody together. So naturally, you know, you would be the, the object of their to. affection when it comes right. to a referral. <laughs> right. So fascinating. And your and your commitment is an hour and a half a week. An hour and a half on Mondays. An hour and a half a week. So 90 yeah. minutes a week. Work with some agents. We're all making some calls. That's pretty cool, Sharon. I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm excited that now I know we'll have two more, but the broker and the owners have asked me to send out to, to everyone so that anyone can join that call. That so I'm looking is so forward to seeing neat. how many we're going to have next week. That is so neat. And then you've got the 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 managing partners behind it, super endorsing it, very happy with it. Three sessions so far, three referrals so far. This morning, picked up a noob who's ready to to roll, but has access to a lot of data. Someone who can right. make a lot of good calls, who will dig something up out of right. that. Uh, and another high producing agent stops you and says, "Hey." I want to get on these calls too, right? Yeah. How exciting. Yeah. It's very I'm, cool. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, I mean, I even used the um, Realtor DSP presentation to today. start meeting today. Yeah. But I didn't go into the whole presentation because I only had 10 minutes. Yeah. I, and I definitely wanted to talk about what we were doing with the call stars. Yeah. So I just used the who do I call section mm. and, you know, and said, you know, a lot of people don't really know who to call, but here's who you can call. Mm. Call, you know, call referral partners, call mm. anyone you do business with. Anyone can become a referral partner. Yeah. And then Catherine, my partner slash daughter, <laughs> she, um, you know, she knows all the whole idea of networking and referral partners and creating referral ambassadors is what she calls them. Mm. And so she talked a little bit about that and said, you know, these calls do matter. And when you make these calls to these business referral partners, who can send you business, you know, just want to expand that, that, you know, every, everybody out there needs to be ambassador and ambassador for you. Mm, mm. So that hit well too. Man, super, super cool. Very exciting. I, you know, the thing that I, I was curious to hear this. Um, I was looking forward to doing this podcast with you because the time commitment is what was uh, really curious to me. Like what, you know, like how much did time do you have to invest in doing a call stars with agents, but you've got it down to 90 minutes a week. I mean, uh, listen, I can squander 90 minutes a week pretty easily. You know, you know, well, <laughs> I think that number, um, I've also been paying attention and, you know, doing a little bit of research on the, you know, the attention span and the accountability. And I know that Carl's talked about this too, about, you know, don't hold them accountable, you know, let them want to come and yeah. want to be part of this and feel like they're getting some value out of it. Yeah. But then I've also heard about, you know, really 52 minutes is a big, is a good time span to, to really focus yeah. and then to take a break. And those, those talk sessions that we have seem to be very, very valuable. Mm -hmm. And that's more, that's more of the break. So mm -hmm. the focus time of actually making the calls is just one hour. Mm. Yeah, so and that's got that's one hour, and that's that's not too much time. It's enough, but it is enough time to make some headway, you know, on 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 some calls. The other, you know, side benefit to all of this too is, well, I'm sure you're not just sitting around twiddling your thumbs during this time, right? Are you? You're making outbound calls as well, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's beneficial for you as well. It's like, well, heck, I'm getting another hour's worth of calls in for the week, and I might as well do it with these people, you know, and be able to pick up some business from them while they're doing it and help them uh, progress along. Very cool. Well, I'm going to be doing the call stars anyway. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm not joining that, you know, the, the regular call stars, but I am spending a focused hour, but With also them. I get, I get right. two 15 minute talk sessions right. and it helps their accountability. And I think that they're calling more because they want to be able to say, I've made more calls this time mm -hmm. than last time. 
Mm-hmm. So next time we're going to talk about the 13 talk tos, mm. um, you know, that just try to have 13 talk tos a day. So, that so you're, you're, you're bringing them along baby steps. Let's just get started. Let's just start mm-hmm. making some calls. Okay. Let's address right. the voicemail. The next mean. Okay. Now let now we're going to talk about 13 talk tos. Really great stuff. I'm just wildly impressed. I think it's super cool, man. I think it's exciting. And I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing more about it on, on breakfast club and hearing more of the success and, you know, sharing it. I don't know. We, we talked about it this morning and remember the word of the day was max. I don't, what were you on today? today on, yeah. It's today was, I think it was maximized bandwidth, you know, and, and we were talking about just really, you know, the acts of freedom and just making sure we were doing the things that move the needle and doing our best to prune away other things that, that, that right. get in the way. And man, oh man, this is definitely something that's a, a needle mover for sure. You know, and you it found, is. you found a way to do it and to involve the referral partners to where, man, that relationship that you're building with those people is just going to be off the charts. You know, I mean, who- well, I'll tell you too, that, um, so Catherine is also talking to people and there's a, there's a, we have a, a list of five more people that want to have a call stars event mm. or time. And we're going to set that up. I want to keep these other people at the same office, mm. you know, because it, it makes it be more for them. The people mm. that I'm working with right now, they're all within the same office. Yeah. So I want to expand that to just be that office, but I'm yeah. going to do another session for, for the other, other office. People. Yeah. All five of these people all work with different offices. Yeah, And then the other office that I have an MSA with, I'm going to start one with them too. So I should have three separate call stars a week that I'm doing with, with agents. Wow. Fantastic. Excellent work. <laughs> Thank you. Great job. <laughs> what it is, is just, it's just great plagiarism is what it yeah, is. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> but, but you're doing it. Right. You're doing it. So it's one thing to to know about it. One thing to know that you, you have the, uh, you know, the privilege to certainly take it and run with it and plagiarize it. Nobody cares. Everybody encourages it, you know, and, but you actually are doing it, you know, you're doing it and, and it's already reaping results in only three weeks. It's, it's, you're already reaping results from it. So man, good stuff, Sharon. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Super, super cool. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll just let everybody muse on that and ponder that. Right. And uh, uh, we'll go ahead and get on out of here and come back next week and talk about some other stuff. But man, oh, man, thanks for being on the podcast today, Sharon, and, and sharing it. I, I, you gave us the insight. You gave us how to get it done and the way you're rolling it out. Maybe we can visit again in a month or so and just see where we're at. I can't wait to hear uh, that story. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So thank, we'll do that. Thank you for having me on. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's, thank you for being on it. Thanks for being such a great um, uh, participant in Breakfast Club and you know, everything that animals does, you're, you're just a really, a just a, a, a wonderful person, Sharon. And, and, it, and it's always good to hang out with you and see, and, and you bring a lot to the table all the time. So you're an inspiration. Well, you. you really are. And you know, the best thing about the, the loan officer breakfast club is that, mm-hmm. you know, someone's going to drop a nugget every day. Yeah. And if you, if it leads you to something else, it gives you an idea to capitalize on something else. I mean, yeah. it's so valuable. So I really appreciate what you do. And I make sure that I am in my desk every day for that meeting is, you know, except, except for Mondays, we have to do our own meetings. I do have to work for an employer. <laughs> of course. Yes. So, no problem. But- All right. Well, good stuff, Sharon. Thank you. Sharon Wifford. Appreciate it so much. And for the rest of you that are listening, thanks for tuning into the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. We're brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. And don't forget to join us Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern. It's free. It's a free Zoom call, a coaching Zoom call. That's what we were just talking about. It's called the Loan Officer Breakfast Club. And the way you get there is just go to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com to register. You'll be sent a link. You can save that in your calendar. Uh, but you can always go back to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com to join if you happen to lose a link or or whatever. So loanofficerbreakfastclub.com. We're hoping to see you there. With that, we'll get out of here and catch up with you guys next week. Adios, everybody. <laughs>